Hello everyone, Jace here, back with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Poke Duel Nuzlocke Challenge Run. So last episode we took on the Saffron Gym finally and read it pretty handily because uh, I didn't lose anyone there. So uh, let's use Fly and get to uh, not Vermillion, Fuchsia City. So that way we can take on the Fuchsia City Gym Leader. Good luck on your gym battle. Wow, thanks. Stupid gym, why can't they just choose one type and go with it? I can't believe how many types this gym has. Oh yes, this is the Solomon Mudo. That's his, the trainer here. Yo, champ in the making. Fuchsia City... Fuchsia Gym is a tricked up place. It's riddled with invisible walls. Solomon might appear close, but he's blocked off. Yeah, as we can see, he's all the way over here. But, uh, you can barely make out the invisible walls if you just see the white at, like, the corners right here. Uh, so I'm pretty sure... Crap, I didn't check his gym. This Pokemon battle. Uh, well, let's start out with Solid Snake. I'm pretty sure he matches up the best over here. Let's see him. Let's see you beat my special techniques. It was your Solid Snake or, like... I had to, like, use two Pokemon. I'll check it right before the gym battle, though. Flame Wingman. Oh, that's just, this is actually bad. Well, he is Flying type. Intimidate's fine, it is flying type, so let's try a Thunderbolt and see how that does. Okay, easy kill. What's next? Right, what still has the extra shirt? Sanga. Sanga of the Thunder. Uh, let's try a Swift. I'm pretty sure that's my own only soup, like, not a, not, uh, Unaffected move there. Boulder Absorb. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't even check the abilities of my Pokemon. So uh, Go is probably the best here, so let's swap him back in. Protect is not going to do anything. Uh, Earthquake should just deal with this easily. Unless it protects, which is just time wasting. Protect is just such a useless move in singles. But it just so. That's a 50% chance. Uh, I hate to. Please don't, please don't use this third time. Okay, thank you. Man, prote yeah, Protect is just annoying outside, like, in singles. In doubles, it's actually a tactical move that's, like, not just wasting a turn. Like, PV stalling is not a big deal. You had me fooled. At least in singles, PV stalling is not a big deal, unless you're running a Pokemon speed boost. Uh, Solid Snake is apparently not the matchup here. Actually, I think he's fine. Uh, let's just take the XP share off, though. And give it to Ariel. Um, let's switch Envoy in. He needs the, uh... He needs some more training. I like poison and sleep techniques as, as they linger after battle. Wow, thanks. Strength isn't the key for Pokémon. Do you understand this? Pokémon is about strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. Nah, I think Brute Strength pretty much wins in uh, single battles. In, uh, at least in the, uh... In single player. Envoy, actually Envoy might not be a great choice here. Let's just try a Spiral Strike. Should deal a decent amount of damage. Oh, almost. Almost killing. One Mach Punch should do it, though. Yeah, that charge does not matter. I mean, we are already faster, but Mach Punch just has the most, uh... The most PP here. Okay, easy. What? Extraordinary! So you mix brawn with brains. Good strategy. That's remarkable for a child trainer. Yeah, it is kind of weird that uh, we're such a prodigy in these Pokémon games. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamt of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. Hey, you're still a juggler. Sparkman. Um, maybe, maybe Gohead's also good here. <laughs> maybe I, I think maybe I should just keep him in. Spiral Strike should do it though, because we are 11 levels higher. Yeah. Easy enough. Three more Pokemon. Silent Magician. That's a... 
an Ice Psychic type. Uh, Spiral Spear should still be good enough here. Not, not enough. As a wish. Okay, that's fine though. We'll just mock Punch and deal with this. Just in case it has a priority move. Okay, easy enough. And the wish won't do anything for the next Pokemon. XY Dragon? Uh, is this a Steel type? Let's try a Mach Punch just to see, because we should be fine enough that we won't die from one hit. Yeah, it's not a Steel type, just an Electric type. Critical hit, dang. That did quite a bit of damage, actually. Uh, well, one Mach Punch should do it again, so let's just do it. And one last Pokemon. It's a Noxious Celtic Guard. That's a Grass Normal type, I'm pretty sure, because I had to fight a bunch of these to grind. So Mach Punch should just deal with this. Yeah, easily. I'm done for. Even though I lost, I will keep training according to the teachings of Solomon. I mean, they did... Solomon was at least swapped out with uh, Koga here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Go-Head matches up the most favorably against all these po these guys. I also studied the ways of Solomon. Uh, good for you. He was following up on another guy. Toon Skull. Uh, yep, this is an electric normal type, I'm pretty sure. Well, this Earthquake. Yeah, I think Earthquake's just a little unbalanced, you know? Just a little bit. Two more Pokemon. Toon Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, Night Slash should just easily deal with this. Barely holding on, and we're keep trying to, okay. Well, that might be annoying. Oh, and we're sleeping! Great, great. Great, great. Oh no, that's not sleep, that's uh, Sweet Kisses Confusion. Uh, that's two fifty-fifties that I don't really want to deal with, so... Let's just put in... Hmm, go ahead the only one with the Psychic moves. Or, a Psychic Dealing move. I mean, a Dark-type move that deals with Psychic types. Uh, let's just put in Solid Snake. Should be good enough. Oh wait, Part 2 Dark Magician might have Burning Attack. It might have been a mistake. Okay, just facade, that's not a big deal. Uh, Swift never misses, so I'll just use this because barely any left, life left to that 2 Dark Magician girl. One more Pokemon. Toon Blue Eyes. Uh, this is a normal Dragon type. Uh, let's try Iron Tail. Or 10 levels higher. Okay, yeah, that killed. Good. Awu! Are, are you a wolf? <laughs> what was that awu for? I still have much to learn. Yeah, you sure do. Uh, let's see. How is it? Where's this guy lead? No, that does not lead to it. Is this maze even possible? Do I really have to head this way? I don't think so. Stop right there! The famed invisible walls of Fuchsia Gym have you frustrated? I mean, I know where they are. I can, like, barely see them. Thousand Dragon. Uh... That's, a, that's definitely a dragon type. I'm guessing it's a flying type? Intimidate is annoying you. Well, uh, I don't have any ice types, so we'll just swap into Solid Snake because he has a better type matchup. Okay, yeah, that Dragon Breath did nothing. Uh, let's use Iron Tail, I guess. We're not missing on these Iron Tails. At least, that's pretty nice. 
Okay, so Ariel's finally at level 46. Rocket Warrior. Uh, that's a Steel type, so Thunderbolt should be fine here. That shouldn't do too much. Metal Thrust. One. Two. Yeah, just doing one HP damage. Okay, well, yeah. Solid Snake is a little too strong, I'm guessing. Whoa, you've got it! You impressed me, here's a hint. Look very closely for gaps in the invisible walls. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, there's a gap. I love shopping at Solomon's Game Corner. What? It's Solomon's Game Corner? That's Kangaroo. Uh, that's a grass fighting type, so it's uh, two, four times a week to flying. So this should just be a one hit kill. Yeah, easily. And one more Pokemon. Hungry Burger. This is also a grass type, I'm pretty sure. So Air Carrier should just deal with it. If, unless it misses, you know? The seed bomb might hurt. Oh crap, okay, that was, just, that was a crit. Mm, but if it crits again, I'm kind of dead. Let's try a fly? I'm just delaying this uh, 5%. Leech, okay, good thing Leech Seed misses. Don't want to deal with that chip damage. Hopefully this kills. Yeah, okay, good. Don't have to worry about losing Go Ahead. And that chill bell was probably unnecessary. You're more more skilled than I thought. When there is light where there is light, there is shadow. Light and shadow, which do you choose? I mean I'm I don't have any dark types on my team right now. But yeah, we made the Solomon. So I'm gonna go to back to the Pokemon Center and I'll be right back for the battle. Okay, I'm back, so let's get started with the uh, Solomon battle. What a bright young duelist you are. I've been watching you duel against the other trainers in this gym and you remind me of my grandson Yugi. Just because I like you doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. So go ahead and show me the duelist you really are. So I did look up his team before this just to make sure I got a good team for this. And I'm pretty sure to go ahead just uh, completely sweeps this team. So he, he starts out with blue eyes which I don't really have a good matchup against. But I can just fly and hope for the best. Yeah, missing that Dragon Rage is pretty good. Okay, that didn't kill. There's a crit though, nice. Wing attack. Uh, okay, that didn't that didn't do too much. We can just uh, like flash. So now I, Fly is gonna not gonna do that much damage next time. So I can't rely on that. Uh, let's just try it again. Hope I mean, maybe we'll crit again. Yeah, Dragon Rage is pretty scary, I'm gonna be honest. Cause that, just dealing 40 straight up is pretty nasty. Okay, we are healed. Wing attack again. Uh, we should be able to survive this, yep. And one more Night Slash should do this. Okay. But the rest of his team is pretty badly matched up against Go Ahead. Because I'm pretty sure they're all weak to ground type or something. Well, ground type and then flying type, I'm pretty sure. So next up is Summon Skull, which is an electric type, so we'll just use Earthquake and deal with this. And the show bell will heal us back, so hopefully I don't have to worry about healing for the rest of this. Okay, easy enough. Four more Pokemon. Yeah, and then Swift Guy is just weak to flying type. So we'll just go f use Fly. And since it has a uh, speed boost, if it's faster than us, then we won't get hit again. So we're guaranteed not to get hit. Yep, that's good. Unless we miss this. Okay, we're not missing this at least. That did not kill. I mean, this speed boost might be annoying then. He might use a Hyper Potion. Uh, we should just be fi fine if we fly again. Ooh, nope, he's gonna use Thrash. Uh, how much is he gonna do? That did quite a bit of damage. As long as this fly doesn't miss, though, we're fine. 
Okay, good. Uh, we aren't going to be fully healed, though, which is going to be nasty going into the next couple Pokemon. I might just have to use a Hyper Potion and, like, just tank the damage for whatever he t comes out. I think we are faster than the, the rest of these guys. Buster Blader, that's a fighting type. I think... Mm, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. Let's just heal and then we'll do a fly. Where's my hyper potion? There they are. I'll just use one of these. Brick break. Okay, that's not gonna do too much, because we are resistant. Yeah, we're fine here. So that was that was a fine move. Let's go fly again. Fly is kind of OP here, because uh like our trainers don't really switch out, so we should be fine. And we'll get hit with a Brick Break again, really. Fine. Just do another Fly and actually take care of it. It's gonna waste a Hyper Potion, that's kinda weird. My, maybe I should've done Air Cutter there instead. Almost. I'm pretty sure that's both of his items used up though, so we should be good for the rest of the battle. Like, we shouldn't have to deal with any random healing. Brick Break. That's fine. Uh, now we'll just guarantee a kill with Earthquake. Okay, easy enough. Go heads level up too, which is nice. His last two Pokemon are Pot of Greed and uh, Buster Blade. Not Buster Blade, uh, BLS. So, Pot of Greed's and Ghost Rock type, so Earthquake should just deal with this. And then for BLS, BLS is just a normal type, so Swift Guy should be fine if we just switch him in. I might. Maybe I should just keep Go Ahead in though. I want to deal with the uh, pain of switching a Pokemon in to get hit. Uh, let's just try Fly, see how much that does. It's gonna use Fake Out, of course. It's kind of annoying. I think it actually did quite a bit of damage. Uh, let's try Envoy. You know what? We're just gonna go for it. Chaos Blade. Ooh, that's scary sounding. Low with our speed. Uh, let's use Mach Punch. Hopefully this kills. Okay, that did not kill. And it's gonna use Earthquake. Well, we lost Envoy. Yeah, maybe switching it was a bad move. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I have, a good, I have a team that can clean up this, so let's just go with uh, Solid Snake. And let's try Thunderbolt. Wait, I'm dumb. Why did I do that? I fr he just used Earthquake! Why did I do that? And now we lost Solid Snake. I am really- I am dumb. I am dumb. Well, man, I should just take care of this, right? We'll just use an extra sensory and deal with this. I am so dumb. I just lost my two newest team members that I did not kill. Okay, Chaos Blade did not kill. Okay, we're good. We're good here. Ariel's level 47 now, nice. Humph, you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon raises. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. TMO6. See what that TMO6 lies is toxic. It's a secret technique dating back some 400 years. When afflicted by toxic, a Pokemon suffers more and more. It suffers wor worsening damage as the battle wave on. It will surely terrorize foes. Wow. Uh, that's great. Well, uh, we lost two party members. I did not need- Like, Swift Guy was definitely understandable, but I did not need to lose uh, Cyber and Dragon there. That was just really dumb of me. But yeah, let's go give them a send-off and uh, figure out who to replace them with. 
Uh, Desk Kangaroo? I don't know. The rest of my team isn't that great. Uh, Gear Freed's not too bad, actually. And it matches up with Steel types, so let's, we can put that away. That was so dumb. Why did I, I lost. Uh, I know Pain doesn't evolve. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sword Stalker is already the most evolved. It is a dark type. The Cyber End Dragon was so good too. Uh, Best King Gru is not too bad, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm going to be going up against a couple more fly flying types, I'm pretty sure. I'll just go with uh, Best King Gru. That gets rid of the uh, poison. I mean, not the poison, the uh, fighting part. So now we're lack. We lost uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, 17 Pokemon lost. Except Pop Greed doesn't count because uh, I did. I just caught him because I didn't realize. I just didn't want to lose him for a Pokedex entry, you know? And let's just heal. So I'm gonna have to train all the rest of those those guys up. Because next time we'll be going to Sinner Bar. Uh, I mean, I might as well do this at the end of this episode right now. So let's just give the HMs I'm missing back to someone. So I'm missing Cut and uh, Cut and Strength. I'm pretty sure Strength is going to be pretty important. And I guess Iron can learn it. Let's see, which of these moves is the worst? Foresight's pretty bad. But Arm Thrust is also not very great. Eh. Yeah, we'll get rid of Foresight because it's pretty much useless. Wasting a turn just to let normal and uh, flying types hit ghost types is really dumb. And then I also need cut. I'm pretty sure. I guess we'll get rid of arm thrust. Kinda didn't want to get rid of arm thrust actually, but whatever. Yeah, I, just, I hate the. I really hate the uh, use of HMs in these old games so much. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, that's it for today's episode. Uh, next time, we'll be going to Cinnabar. But until then, see you guys later. Bye!